Do you want a DIY rustic farmhouse bed? We'll show you how we made ours for $150. What is up? Welcome back. <laughs> if this is your first time here and you like to do it, build it, or make it, give us a subscribe. This week, we're building a bed. We're gonna make our own queen size bed for our littlest queen. We had a girl move out and now we have a girl moving up. So one went off to college and the other one's moving into tweenhood. So, room makeover. We're gonna slide the cut list in right here for a couple of seconds. And while you do that, we're gonna set up over at the miter saw. Okay, so we've not made this bed before, so we're gonna a little bit wing it as we go along. I'll be following the directions. First step is to cut the headboard legs and foot legs. So we're gonna use a four by four and cut it at 52 and a half and 14 and a half. Get that? Got it. Next up, we're going to cut, we're starting with the headboard and we're gonna cut a top header at 67. And the way these plans are written, just so you know too, they're written so that you can adjust the measurements to a king or queen or twin size bed, any size bed. So we're working with a queen and it's width of mattress plus seven inches. So we're going 67 inches. 67. Yep. Bam. Okay, step one, now that we have the boards cut, we're gonna attach the top rail of the headboard to the four by four legs using two and three quarter inch self-tapping wood screws. All right, well the self-tapping, maybe not so self-tapping. <laughs> I didn't get self-tapping, so we're gonna drill a pilot hole. You go, okay. We're gonna cut the boards for the slats that make the headboard and a one by two that's the backer board to put the slats on. So we're gonna use a one by two at 29 inches and we're going to use, we're gonna modify the plans a little bit. We're gonna use one by eights instead of one by sixes. So we'll use four of those to make the headboard. We had them laying around and uh, I'm cheap. <laughs> Okay, step two, now that we've cut the one by two, we're gonna attach it flush to the back of the headboard, and then we're going to add the one by eight slats to make the, I don't know, headboard back. Um, is that what you would call it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. Headboard back. Headboard Works. back. So we're just gonna glue and nail these on. and four, we're going to pocket hole the one by eights together and attach them together first and then attach them to the headboard. So the first thing we're gonna do is add the pocket holes. Pocket hold together. We're gonna flip it over, glue it, tag it down, and then hit these pocket holes to secure it to the top. All right, I'm measuring out this two by six as the bottom brace of the headboard, and we're going with a 60 inch cut. All right, now we have the headboard laying face down and we're gonna use these clamps to mark a spot 13 inches up from the bottom. 
Then we're gonna attach this two by six between the legs. I like it. All right, the two by six is going flush with the front of the headboard. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the side rails now. We're gonna start with a two by six, cut to the length of the mattress. In our case, it's 80. And then we're gonna cut a two by four to the length of the mattress that will sit on top at 80 as well. And the second set. All right, we have a two by six that's cut down to 80. And we're gonna put some pocket holes in it and attach the two by four to the top. This will be one of the side rails. This is step six in the plans, in case you're following along. Okay, we're gonna cut the footboard, which is a two by four, two by six, cut to the width of the mattress, ours is 60. All right, now we're going to assemble the footboard. It's the same as the rails, except then we're going to attach them to these four by four feet. All right, we gotta stand it up for the pocket holes. What do you mean? The pocket holes, the pocket holes to this. Oh. All right, it looks like the two by four centers on the four by four. All right, next step, we're just gonna put some pocket holes in the bed rails. Just gonna put three on each side of each bed rail. All right, let's go dry fit it. We're gonna attach the side rail. Garrett's measuring 14 and a half up from the bottom, which is level with the foot board. And he's gonna use this little clamp <coughs> to help guide where the board stops. Um, yes, and so the side rail here at the foot just goes fl flush with the 4x4. Four four. Next step is to add the cleats and the slats. We can't add those yet because we have to disassemble the bed and assemble it up in the room. So at this point we're going to sand and paint and we'll meet you up in the room. Since we're going to distress it and it's a girl's bedroom, uh, we're going to use some gray, a dark gray, and some areas that we're going to distress it and then come through with uh, some kind of purple pink color thing. Lilac. Lilac. Uh, so it'll just have a hint of lilac when we distress it. That's the key. We'll find out. It's all sanded, we threw some spots in there so that it will peek through when it's all distressed. Now we're gonna paint it white. We have the headboard, footboard, and the rails up in the room. Now it's time to assemble it. Uh, we're going to keep the footboard on the ground and stand the rails up to assemble it. It'll be a whole lot easier. We think. We think. I think. We're going to install the cleats on the side rails. We decided against gluing them because if we glued it, we wouldn't be able to take it apart again. Because the cleats cover the pocket holes 
then attach the side rails to the headboard and the footboard. So if you glue it on, that's it. That's it would it. be done forever. This is the bed forever. <laughs> Go ahead and never get home out of this room. always live here. <laughs> For the cleats, they are 60 inches, same as your length of your mattress. Uh, we put some pilot holes in them and we're just going to screw them to the side. We're going to use these two bad boys, little one by twos as spacers on the top. I'm going to go cut an 81 inch cleat for the middle and some 62 inch slats and I'll be right back. Wait for me, Dan. Wait for me. All right. <laughs> Back. <laughs> yeah, should be 60 and... I see the pencil. Half would be 30. Ooh. Look at me. Look at you with the mathness. You're such a mathlete. Back with some 62 inch slats and I put a little pilot hole in them. We're gonna space the slats out in the bed. All right, they're all spaced to hand width. Now that little pilot hole that we had, we're gonna put a screw in them. and some feedback down below and let us know what you thought. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that bell to be notified of our new videos. And in the meantime, you can watch this old video or that old video. Not that old. And it's not that old, but this <laughs> one's a better video. You should watch them both and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>